All right, so 13, we're just finding dy, dx in terms of x and y. Implicit differentiation, right? We've been doing this for a long time. And there's nothing too crazy in here. It's just x's and y's to written to powers. So if we take the derivative of both sides, on the left side we get 2x plus, when we do the derivative of x times y, we have to use the product rule. So derivative of x is just 1 times y plus x times derivative of y is dy dx plus 3y squared dy dx equals 0. So we want the dy dx to stay on the same side. We can move the 2x and y to the other side. These, I'm going to factor the dy dx out. And then to solve for dy dx, we're just dividing. So we're going to have this negative 2x minus y all divided by x plus 3y squared. But what you'll see in multiple choice, most of the time, like when we have negatives up here, we'll factor a negative out. So we get negative 2x plus y, and then just keep the negative out in front of everything. So that one is 8.